Okay, uh, the first question goes to uh, Timothy Jones. Uh, what is your stance on the town's lawsuit against the state of New Hampshire? My stance is I'm 100% for it. I, I have, uh, was motivated uh, six years ago to get involved publicly over that very issue. The very issue being the state's insistence on the town taxpayers paying for maintenance of the sidewalks. It is the most absurd concept ever devised by man that the local taxpayers should be paying to maintain sidewalks or other property owned by the state of New Hampshire. The property owners themselves are the ones that are solely responsible for paying for the maintenance of their property, regardless of who that property owner is. Town of Hampton does not own those sidewalks, it does not own that road, and ought not to ever have to pay to maintain it. I read the lawsuit in detail, and while there might be a few minor nuances that I might not agree with, overall, it's an excellent filing. I support it 100%. I think this town ought to be pursuing a fair deal because we haven't been getting one. And that's all we're asking for is a fair deal. And I will maintain that stance if elected that we get a fair deal. And we pay for what, we, what we're supposed to pay for, which is the maintenance of our own property, not the maintenance of somebody else's. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Uh, Jim Waddell, you are on the Board of Selectmen at present. Um, right, and I voted against the lawsuit, so obviously you know where I stand. You can go back and look at that. My <coughs> position there is not necessarily against suing the state. My position is that it was done emotionally and under anger, and that we should have taken and we should have gone through the deed first, narrowed it down to very specifics that we could win, that was a winnable case. We then should have had a discussion on it and decided what we were going to do and how we were going to do it. We then should have, rather than set an arbitrary date that it should be filed, we should have gone back, we should have looked at the deed again, we should have narrowed down our points, we should have been very specific so that we went in, we were sure we were going to get a return on our investment, that we had a case that was rock solid with facts, and that we would be there and that we could win it. Also, I think we, the danger is that if we open up this whole question of the deed, the danger is that we could end up paying more than we get. So I think, I, I think it should have been researched more in more detail. It should have been defined better, and it should have been gone through there. So it's not that I'm against suing the state or not that I'm against the state paying their fair share, but I think we needed to do it in a different manner. Thank you, Jim. Ryan, uh, a business owner at the beach, your position on the, uh, the litigation the town has instituted with the state. I feel that there's been, I've, I've heard mixed reviews, I've heard both for and against it. Uh, there's a, a lot of people down the beach that work well with the state, and they feel that this could put a damper on that, um, and that's not something I would be looking to do. I, I want Hampton to get a fair shake on it. The selectmen have spent six years on this, and they've gotten down to it, and they've decided that they wanted to bring a lawsuit to them, and I feel like they're acting in the best interest of the town. I'm for mediation. I don't think a long, drawn-out lawsuit is going to do anybody any good. Even if you win, I feel you could lose. There'll be a sour taste in the mouth. Like Jim said, there's other stuff that I personally, I'm not, I've been into this lawsuit for about a month. I, don't, I can't possibly understand everything they've done for six years. There's other stuff I don't understand. So to say if I'm for it or against it, I'm for the town, and I need to know more about it before you can actually get into everything else. You've been on the budget committee. And you understand more of the budget stuff than I would ever understand. I haven't got into any of that at all. I've read the lawsuit and I've read the deed, but there's more to it. Um, I'm not for jeopardizing our relationship with the state, but I'm for getting what the town des deserves, whether or not it is anything more or it is anything less. So I'm for mediation, and right, that's my you. stance. Mary Louise, as a former member of the Board of Selectmen, you've wrestled with issues with the state. What is your position on the on the? litigation that's recently been instituted? I support what the selectmen have done. Um, I think the pleading was excellent. I've read the entire pleading. I think it was very well crafted. As a resident and taxpayer, I feel that it is the obligation of our public officials to protect the taxpayers and residents in this community. We are being dumped on by the state of New Hampshire, and it's about time we get out from under that. If you have two parties who have a problem and they can't come to terms with each other, 
the time comes when you need an independent, uh, an independent person to decide and help you decide what should be done. Uh, I think it would actually be dereliction of duty for the selectmen to hold off any longer. The selectmen are supposed to look for the welfare of the taxpayers and residents in this community. And we certainly have um, valid complaints about the way the state of New Hampshire is uh, spending its money and ours. All right.